Why, hello there, everyone. This is Tanuki Tail, and welcome to my playthrough of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. It's nice that they add the performance test option here because my computer isn't particularly high end, so I'm glad I got to test it here, and it's actually running okay, which is nice. So now I don't have to get it for the PlayStation like I was originally planning because it was on sale on Steam, so I could not pass that up. And let's start. So this is the special edition, which makes it where uh, you can play as more characters. I'm under the impression that when DMC4 originally released, it was incomplete. And so I don't think that the other characters were in the first version. But I know that Nero is the main character, so... Is the, is the main character in this one, so... Uh, I want to play the game vanilla or the first time, so I'm not going to dabble with any of the, uh, with any of the special edition shenanigans until later. Select costume? Mm, that's the default one, right? Let's go with the default. Okay, difficulty. So it's this is letting you select max difficulty immediately, which is breaking trend. It could be that uh, if they're assuming people playing this have already beaten the base Devil May Cry 4, that they would want to have this option. The overwhelming number of demons lurking in this mode demand the very best of one's abilities. Hmm. I'm tempted, since this is the first time they allow the max difficulty at the start. However, I don't want to make this playthrough unnecessarily long. Because DMC5 is waiting for me. So once again, let's stick with the vanilla first playthrough. Make it as close to a playthrough of the original DMC4 as possible. Automatic off. Tutorial on. Might as well. It hasn't been too long since I played a DMC3. So, I should be able to get the hang of this pretty quickly. Capcom Prisons! I've heard this song before. Those enemies kind of look like the things from DMC1, those marionettes. Oof.
<clears throat> I've actually heard a hip hop version of this song before, which is surprisingly good. It was by a YouTuber. Well, he got there before it ended. Although I think he only was there for like a few seconds at the end. took up his sword for the sake of mankind. Though, despite his brave efforts in our names... It's really bizarre seeing people that aren't main characters in a Devil May Cry game since 1, 2, and 3 never show anything about regular people. Regular people as in non-main characters. <coughs> wow, Nero, you're so cool. Preaching's putting me to sleep. Huh? Okay, that's a massive controller vibration. It's been a while since I've used an Xbox controller for anything. I don't think that's the pizza delivery man. Ha 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 ha. Definitely a bold opening for a game. Oof. <laughs> that back bend. The real question is, how will this game compare to DMC3? It's impossible to not compare it. No, Dad, stop! Speaking of that... I don't know what their relation is to each other. <clears throat> I doubt he's Dante's son. I think he's, uh... I mean, it'll tell me soon, but... If I had to make the assumption, I would say Nero is Virgil's son. Oof. There's the gun kata I was waiting for.
Must be weird for Dante to see statues of Sparta. So obviously Nero can't be better than Dante. But they're doing a good job of presenting him as a character that definitely fits in the DMC universe. It shouldn't start though. Return to mission menu, aren't I on it already? I think I made a mistake. Friday. Uh... Okay. Why are these so separated? Do I have to go through the cutscene again? You can skip it, right? Yeah. I like the neon sign style of now loading. Okay, mission Sarto. Well, duh. Okay, is the game supposed to be this slow or is this my PC? Because Mega Man 11 runs slow on my PC as well. I don't know if it's just a slow-mo effect. Holy cow. We will know soon enough. Red orbs, of course. I'm going to test it right now. Can I change the settings? Okay, so you can't change the settings without restarting, so I can't do it until after this. Side roll. Oh, they do the same controls for that instead of having a dedicated button. Press RB and sideways. On LS plus A. What? It's a weird way to say it. Am I under him? Okay. giving me DMC2 flashbacks. All the gun spam. I guess this doesn't quite cut it. What's the point of packing a sword like that if you aren't even going to use it? You pretended. Did he pretend to rev his sword like Nero did? Red Queen combo. Wait, Red Queen's the name of his sword? Oh, yeah. 
This is definitely slow. Let's pretend it's intentional until the end of this mission. Is that the... Okay, yeah, that's the launcher. I think it's locking certain things <clears throat> until it tells you how to do them. Because it's not letting me do the uh, forward lunge. Or the falling attack. Hey, that's, isn't that the taunt he used on Cerberus? Can I not juggle him yet? A buster. Toss them away like a cheap toy. I heard from some people that... Uh, you can spam it. As in, it's OP. Oh, it's got... Uh, I once watched an argument unfold debating if DMC4 basically if DMC4 is good or not. They were comparing it to DMC3, obviously. But the side against it, they were saying how the buster breaks the game and how you can just keep spamming grabs on enemies and it incentivizes that over Experimentation in the side in defense was saying that. So you're looking to play, huh? All right, I guess I got some time to kill. The side in def guy, huh? well, yeah. <laughs> The side in defense was saying that. Yes, that makes the that's the easy option, but the fun comes from experimentation. So now it's an actual fight. Okay, so I want to see if I can start using my aerial attacks before I land and before Dante gets up so I can try to combo him that way.
Wait, why am I not going up with him? Okay, I think it's if you hold it down, you go up with him. And if you tap it, you don't. Cowboy boots. And he gets stabbed in the chest yet again. Getting better. Pinned to a statue of his father, how ironic. human are you we're the same you and I... and them huh? though I suspect you carry something different from the others what are you talking about you will come to learn the meaning soon enough but business beckons. Hey! Adios, kid. So did they see his arm when they walked in? He didn't make much of an effort of covering it up, but he still covered it up. Nonetheless. What is that that I got where it says 139? Those aren't red orbs. Oh. Proud soul. So that must be a different form of currency. Using the proud souls acquired upon completion of a mission will allow you to obtain new skills. And you can respect you can respect your skills that you've invested in. Okay. Now let's go to mission menu. <clears throat> That's weird. Even in this one, you can't move down difficulties on the same uh, mission. You have to play through the whole thing. Not that it's an issue for me. I'm not planning on moving down at all. So let's... Yeah, can I change them from here? Oh, this wasn't from... This wasn't on the... Let's turn subtitles on. This wasn't on the main menu. Vibration. Can I just make it medium? It's extreme. And let's leave it on then. If it's only on and off. Brightness. The gradient can be clearly seen. What gradient? The gradient on the very top? Never trust these things. Just change it until it looks good. That looks good. Sound. Pretty sure sound should be balanced. Background. Sound effect. It's weird that they don't have a, se a separate... A uh, separate volume for voice. Usually it's a voice, sound effects, and volume, and music volume. 
Game options. Those must be controls. Lock on display. So if that on default. Because the default would be the most similar to previous games, I'm assuming. Okay, PC settings. Here we go. So this is what it was on. What if I should just turn down something like texture resolution or overall screen, screen quality? Let's try both. <clears throat> okay. Mission 2. So you can change these whenever you want. Can we get a skin with the headphones? That would be cool. I wonder if everyone in here is aware of the members being monsters. Particularly that guy with the beard. He just has a sword just because... Although he was getting attacked by demons at the beginning, so that's probably a regular occurrence for him. Considering he carries a gun like that. And just has his sword laying around. Fortuna Castle, huh? That's what the witnesses said. Guy just came from hell. He's gotta hit up a couple tourists. Just so lightly in a time of crisis. Oh yeah, so. Chronologically, the games would go 3, 1, 2, right? Please be careful. You still haven't recovered. There's no time, and duty calls. Can't pass on an emergency. I must return to headquarters and report. I should have seen if I could power anything up first. Is Nero not considering what Dante just showed him? And for the time being, he doesn't need to. that shot Go. Get out of here. here comes the OST
I love that he can rev his sword. It's so stupid, but cool. Okay, let's see how slow it is. Oh, okay, this is where we can power up. Skill up item. Oh, hey, the music in here. Like an echoey version of the song Curie song. A red queen's the sword, blue rose is the gun. <clears throat> To asking for red orbs or proud souls? Okay, these are combo extensions. I'm not going to do that until I actually play with that mechanic. Okay, this is what I want. Okay, so that used Proud Souls, not Red Orbs. Greatly extended range. Oh, that one's... Okay, so this isn't default. Let's get that too. Oh yeah, and he's proud souls. Okay, so that's all we're getting for now. <clears throat> so that uses proud souls as well. That's bizarre. That's the double jump. So this is also Proud Souls. What what are the red orbs used for? Automatically acquire the optimal skill? No way. Who would leave that up to something automatic? Whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot you can uh you can return your you can get re you can get a refund. Item. So red orbs are only for items, apparently. That's interesting. Entry point, other doors. Well, it still seems kind of slow. Okay, I'm back, and I figured it out. The game is running smooth now. At full speed. It's not that, the, it's not that my computer couldn't do it, obviously, since it's working now, but... It was just a matter of <coughs> getting the settings right. To put, simply. that it? Green orb, nice. Oh, we still have some fixed camera angles in certain points. Huh. That is rare to see for a game this recent. Is that a yellow orb? Kick jump. Oh yeah, that. Didn't check everything out here yet, though. Hmm. 
Mm hmm. Is there any reason to come back in here? I think not. I may want to unlock that running ability after all. The amount of backtracking I do. Also, keep in mind that I turned the texture quality on low just to not run my computer so hard. So... Keep that in mind if you are judging the game based off of it. There was a yellow orb in there, though. Oh, easy. I'm sorry, gold orb. Through a secret process. Let's not waste it this early in the game, though. Sealed doors. Oh, yeah. They are not waiting. I wonder if red orbs are even that valuable in this, since the red orbs only are for items. <clears throat> so if I don't really use items that often, then I probably won't feel the difference if I don't scrounge every one. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. They all loaded in at once? No, I, I doubt it. I think that's just a background thing. <clears throat> Should I go in there first, or... Or nothing else? The environments definitely take a bigger hit from the... Uh, from turning down the textures, which makes sense. Takes a bigger hit than the character models. Can't get that one yet. I have to go around. This is pretty reminiscent of the first area, or not the first area, but the hub room in DMC 1. Thanks. Imagine getting this far without figuring out how to move the camera. That sound was a virus scan, by the way. Since you are dying to know. <clears throat> Wait, what the? How do you get in there? Hmm. 
That looks similar to the wheel you're supposed to hit in three, but it's on the floor, not the wall. Oh, they must open up. What the hell? And let enemies out or something. Find some floating object. Is Nero figuring out that he's in a video game? Huh. Evil Legacy. A crystal holding the power of an ancient evil. It has the power to awaken a new power within. Lock on to a grim grip. While staying on a continuum pad. Oh. Should have read the part that was underneath that. I don't know why I didn't. It said hold B, right? Am I an idiot? Oh, you lock on. Hold on. I can't, off the top of my head, think of any other games that use fixed camera angles this late into, uh, this late into video game history. Late as in, like, not late as in old, because that would be early. You know what I mean. Late as in new. That's where the red orb was. Uh, I was trying to do the wall jump. I wonder if that's possible at that angle. I don't think that's po I don't think it's possible like that. I wonder if you need in it. I wonder if you need the double jump or some sort of aerial ability, but I think that's weird that they would require something like that in an early mission that you could only get by coming back to. I got it. Wait a minute. That orb is still hidden. That is bizarre. Or not orb, but yellow s or green star. Secret mission? Is it is one nearby? Examining certain areas within a stage. Oh, so you don't go you don't go through a door? Okay, you act you interact with that little note. Hmm, so if it's if there are an if if they're hidden behind notes that you have to interact with instead of doorways, then they could hide these secret missions even... even 
in more obscure places than before. Make them harder to find. I doubt this first one will be too demanding. I like that the uh, advancing attack is a horizontal in this, instead of just poking them with the sword straight out. Oh crud, I might actually run out of time. Keep thinking they explode. And I have three seconds left. Don't even know if this is the last one. Failed! Look at the target marker flickering through it. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Okay, it's all business this time. I don't want to sp I don't want to spread them apart like that. Come on. Okay, that was actually a lot tighter of a timer than I was expecting on the very first secret mission. Clear. That's some odd text design. And by odd, it's very normal, which is not what you would expect, which makes it odd. It's so normal, it's odd. <clears throat> RPNB. Snatch them. Oh, what the? That does seem OP. You can do it in midair? Uh... Also, it's storming outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But if you hear something that sounds like thunder, then it probably is. LT to act- oh yeah, I've- I stumbled upon that earlier. Igniting a special propellant along the blade that propels the next attack. This is pretty cool. So you just rev it. 
And then you just have to hold it down. Does it wear off at all? That's like something from Monster Hunter. That is a very Capcom thing. I do like the amount of tools they give you at such an early stage. So they're still doing the four, the get four, get extra life thing. So I only need two more now. <clears throat> so ideally... Is there any reason not to do this in between fights? See if it ever wears off. What is the point of this area? Where am I going? That's where I'm supposed to go, probably. So the blade hasn't cooled off yet. Lower the drawbridge. Oh. <clears throat> that man in the red coat. Who could it be? Hmm. Wait a minute. See that red orb back there? I don't even need red orbs that badly, but... I just want to see if I can do it. Wow, they strategically made it where you would only see that when you pull yourself across. It wasn't difficult to get, but you had to pay the time of walking over there, which I did. Oh. Stylish rank. Oh, yeah. They've already been judging me. D to triple S. Oh, I forgot that was still charged up. What is this? Oh, so- so this is the wheel.
and now it works. Obviously. Can't just jump down. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Is that there before? Wait, did I just go through the door that I entered originally? I got pretty disoriented in, the, in there. Got pretty disoriented in there, apparently. Okay, so... Okay, so the orange door is... The one I came through initially. Okay, and that door... Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good, I swear. Oh, they respawned. Hey, fine by me. More souls. It makes it a lot easier to keep the stylish rank up when they give you something to grab them with. Oh. But be warned that the effect of a taunt varies depending on the foe. Did that count? I don't know if they were spawned in yet. Ugh! Worth. They didn't drop it completely. When there's a big group of them, you can just yoink one out and fight it by itself. It makes fighting large groups of enemies a lot more manageable. Ahem. <clears throat> I don't even need to be standing on something. Okay, that tutorial said I needed to be standing on the that little indicator. Apparently not. We. I'm already good on health. What is that? Ooh. Skill up, item. We can stock up on items later. So that's- this doesn't increase the damage of the gun. It makes it where you can charge it. 
I don't know how often I would do that when, you know, the time you're spending charging up a gun, you could be hitting them. Also, can, the th can I buy three? And, okay, so if I buy three right now, will it automatically make me get two and one? Or is it separate? Or will it make me get two and one? So, like, okay, wait. If I get charge shot one and it's... And you have to progressively get them. Like, if I get charge shot one, will it make charge shot two cheaper? Because if not, it would be... M the most economic thing to do would be to just buy the third. And skip one and two. Hold on. I don't have that many to spend right now, though. So I have that. Uh, yeah, I want that one, too. What else can I get, though? Eh, don't see much use for that one. Back and forward, ooh. Uh, increasing the X gauge to two slots. Allows you to access level to exceed moves. Two slots. Isn't it already... Doesn't it have three levels already, though? Two slots. It must mean something else. For now, I just want this, though. This. I'm curious, though. If I select auto skill level up, I'm, I'm wondering what it would give me. What the game deems the most important for me. What is this? Combo statue? Wait. Wait. It said something for a moment. I can't lock on to it. Oh, now I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is one of the statues. I don't know why it was so tricky to lock onto it, though. Do you save here as well? Nope. Uh, are we in Resident Evil 4? Looks like a place from Resident Evil 4. Let me guess. More demons. It's the monolith from Space Odyssey. Boss already? Just walks past him like nothing. Would he have let Nero just walk by? <laughs> Touching tips. Is there a different heck? I guess there's the icy heck if you're taking Dante's Inferno to be canon. I wouldn't be surprised if this game is. 
Oh, green orbs in there. Wait, no, save those green orbs. I don't want them to be wasted yet. <clears throat> His name's Burial. Let's give Burial a proper Burial. Ha ha ha. Wow, that's so funny. DMC2 vibes. Can I just beat him by shooting? It's lame, though. Can I grab him? Oh, you can! Wait! Oh, never mind. Wait. Don't wait. I can just stay suspended in air like that. I wonder if it does if it's if it's worth the DPS of standing here and revving it. Uh Okay, that was a big AoE. I can just keep launching myself like this. Couldn't I guess uh couldn't grab there. Can I just keep myself suspended in the air indefinitely? Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, I need I need the HP now. <clears throat> Let's go back to DMC2 mode. Whoa. That's what? <coughs> no, don't use that. Okay. Rip the first try hype. Abandon all hope. All ye who enter. <sighs> okay, his, he does not telegraph for very long at all. I'm still experimenting with the limitations of the grab. Trying to stay above that. See if I can get him to uh, crack open some health. Oh, they're still laying around here. Okay, this boss does not telegraph his attacks for very long at all, which is very surprising. Especially for the first boss in a game. Oh, I'm stuck! Whew. Such a wide arc to that slash. I need to get away from the wall. But this attacks, this these fire pillar attacks are pretty similar to the fire pillar attacks from the uh, spider scorpion boss in one. How do I dodge that? I rolled. Okay, I don't think jumping lets you get out of that. I think you have to roll or maybe just run. I don't think I have any health left. Any, uh, health pickups left? No. Can someone say difficulty spike? 
We get souls each time, though. I should have spent some. Oh. Might as well do this. Oh, that even hit him? He's wasting all the health. Okay, that didn't even hit me. Hit boxes, please. You just have to get away from him early before he wakes up. Yeah, even if I react immediately to pull myself up, I don't go up in time before he attacks. Need more help. Why is the... It, this is... Not that old of a game. Why can I not change the camera whenever I want? The camera's acting like DMC3. Just walks into it. Oof. The nuke! He can do that whenever he wants, standing up. Got all the health over here. Okay, fire pillars. Break this house. E. Can he see me? Huh. What? That was terrifying. Thought he was going for the fire pillars. Way too early. <laughs> Hurry! Oh, that was close. Don't ask. Damn thing drives me crazy, though. Or Nero could be a different offspring of Sparta. The Dante's half brother, but he's way younger than Dante, so I think it's more likely he's Virgil's son. In fact, I think I heard that he was Virgil's son somewhere before. Thank you very much. That was a pretty tough boss fight for it being the first one. I'm digging that.
fueling my computer. It's not that hot. Okay. Okay. So maybe I can turn the textures back up. Heck yeah. Okay, I see a D, a D, and an A. Those averaged out do not equal D. So I guess the orbs found has very little weight in the overall rank. <clears throat> no item. Okay, so no item. So I'm assuming that when it says no item, I'm getting a bonus from that. And since I used continues, I'm getting a, I'm getting a penalty for that. So does it auto save? I think it does, but I wish it would say it somewhere. Okay, if I'm at the title screen. Let's see if it's still there. If it is, then obviously it auto saved. Okay, so yes, it did. I think that's a good spot to end episode one of the DMC4 playthrough. I did chapter or mission one and two, although one was pretty short. Although a bit extended because of how slow the game was playing. But I think that's a pretty good part one. So thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like the video. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, again, obviously I'm going to be comparing it to DMC3. So far it's definitely rubbing me the right way. And I will see you in part two.